Welcome back for another book review. Today we are talking about this one. So this is the first of the Llewellyn 2025 books. So this is The Herbal Almanac from Llewellyn, a practical guide to growing, cooking, and crafting, companion planting, gardening by the moon, plant garden plants, and a 12-month gardening log. So this book is mostly comprised of a different set of just kind of themed to like the sections obviously you know you're gonna have gardening crafting cooking uh just little bits here and there diy stuff and in those sections is a variety of different articles that are written by different authors a lot of times they're kind of like the popular names that are going on in Llewellyn right now and so every year it's kind of like oh these are the ones that are doing really well so those authors typically are the ones that are going to be writing these articles i gave this one a four out of five star do i garden no <laughs> Do I plan to? Maybe. But like, it takes a lot of space and I did all, to, to where I live, the soil sucks. And Utah is kind of hard to grow a lot of things anyways. We have the extremes of the extreme cold and the extreme heat and it's a desert. Planting is not always easy. And yet I was so entertained reading this because like there's just random stuff that I'm like, I did not know that. And like, you learn a lot of stuff about plants that it's just like did not know that that was a thing and this book honestly like one of my grandparents who has been gone for like 10 years now uh this december will be 10 years but he was a gardener <laughs> and he would have actually loved this book it is not witchy really at all because a lot of like farmers will still garden by the moon because the moon does still influence things. And so a lot of them will utilize what moon phase, what is going on, not necessarily, I don't think the zodiacs, but at least the phase of the moon because of the pull of the tide and all of that stuff, like it does influence plants, but the articles are not really pagan. Most of this, if not all of it really isn't pagan. It's very much more of like a gardening book. And sometimes it's kind of nice because like, you don't have to add a whole lot of like the witchery to it. It's just the more practical stuff of dealing with your herbal stuff. <laughs> and again, a lot of it is like the gardening section was really intriguing and there's just a lot of really good stuff in here if this is a topic you're interested in. So obviously, if you are a gardener, you will like this book. Again, it doesn't even feel like, like if you know someone who does a lot of gardening or has a farm, like this it would potentially be a good book to hand them. Again, it's really not witchy. Like again, there's like a, just a sprinkle every once in a blue moon, but most of that is also just like the moon phases and like the talking about like the zodiac signs, like a teensy, teensy bit. I don't even know that they would really care because like they're probably like yeah whatever but for the most part there are stuff in here that it's like like there's like a particular like type of thing that's infecting basil didn't know that was a thing and that you have to get different strands now of basil to grow it because this like fungus thingy thing literally like murders the plant and like it goes into such detail of what it does and i'm like i I just don't know how science is at that level. Like, it's not something you ever learn in school, but like, it would be fascinating to learn how like scientists figured this out of like, how like the immune system of a plant works and all of the things. It was really interesting to read through, but it's like those kinds of things. Again, it's not really witchy, but if you know someone who's a gardener or a farmer, they might need to know that if they're gonna try and grow basil or if you're gonna try and grow basil and be like, why is it having these weird symptoms? That's why, like, it's just fascinating. Also, there are a number of recipes in here. There's actually a few vegetarian and vegan options, which is really cool. And also just standard diet too, if that's your thing. And so if you are either like a farmer or a gardener or also a cook, because again, most, like if you're like a for real cook, like you're like in the kitchen and you're not doing a lot of like, like you have to like meal prep things, you know, and like actually like cut up your vegetables and not just, cut it from a frozen bag, like myself. <laughs> like, if you're really in there actually, like you're making your own sauces and you're doing all of the things, this would be a fantastic book because you're gonna be way more of like, even if you don't grow the things, you're gonna be intrigued to know the stuff usually. At least every like major like actual cook that I know is like that. <laughs> they love to just research different things. Again, even if they're not growing it, they wanna know things. And so 
if you were either of those categories or you're just intrigued at this topic and you're like, what? Maybe go check this one out. It's really good. And it's new, obviously, it just barely came out. And so typically if you are in a larger county, your library will likely have it. I like mine did, it's got a little sticker and it says new. And yeah, so you might be able to check it out from a library to read through it, but also if you know that you're probably gonna like it, you'd probably be safe just to grab this one. So anyways, I would love to know your thoughts on this if you were a gardener or a farmer or a cook or whatever in the comments down below. As always, a huge thank you to my patrons if you wanna support me and get access to exclusive content. On Tuesdays, I'm usually posting either a life update or an exclusive book talk. On Thursdays is when I do my, ah, <sighs> the audiobook. We're getting there. Turning the wheel. I, the first chat, the first section is just a lot. I split it into three. I finally got tired of it. It's getting close to the 40 minute mark and I'm like, oh my God, I'm not even a third of the way through. So I split it into three. <laughs> so uh, this week, the first one for Yule went up and then Path of the Witch is still going because audiobooks take forever when you're doing it yourself. And then on Saturdays is when I usually will chit chat about my own practice and what I'm studying and doing and such and just random little chit chat talk things. So anyways, I would love for you to join me over on Patreon. Of course, here on the main channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I post every single day and until next time, thank you so much for coming along and blessed be.